Well, Juneteenth celebrations in the city of Greensboro kicked off today. This is the second year the city recognizes Juneteenth as a citywide holiday. I spoke with the event organizer April Parker and Congress Councilwoman Sharon Hightower earlier today. In May of 2020, they helped to pass the resolution making Juneteenth a holiday in the city of Greensboro. Due to COVID-19, most of last year's events were held virtually, but this year there will be several opportunities to celebrate the holiday face to face. It gives us a place to return back to each other. I mean, we, we were in social distancing and quarantine. I know I was in the house for over a year. What a wonderful way to come back and return to our community. And I think that that is a part of our culture. Parker encourages businesses to close shop or pay workers time and a half as they would on July 4th. Councilwoman Hightower says these events are not just meant to celebrate, but to educate the general public about the significance of the day. We want people to see our celebration and to join us in remembering a critical time in our lives that have impacted black people significantly. So events are planned through Sunday, June 20th. There will be a Juneteenth Black Food Truck Festival in LaBauer Park on Saturday. Festivities include live music, a picnic, and open mic. And I'll have all those details on our website. Yeah, so I was uh, reading a lot of comments on mm -hmm. social media about this, and a lot of people are excited about the federal holiday, especially mm -hmm. because it gives businesses the opportunity and maybe even the push to close their doors so that more people can participate in these events around the country. Absolutely, and one of the things that um, Councilman Hightower and Ms. Parker were talking about earlier is it's great that nationally Juneteenth will be recognized, but it's important to remember that there's still a lot of work that needs to be done when it comes to addressing uh, social justice and racial equality and that we shouldn't just stop on the day but mm. continue to have these conversations and take action every day. It's a reminder and then also you know you and I were talking mm -hmm. before the show I don't think a lot of people realize that it was two and a half years yeah. from the time right. of the Emancipation Proclamation till it and you know there's no internet as Lauren and I were mm -hmm. chatting about you couldn't just right. send a message it took a long time for that to get there and so I think that you know that's the correct time that you celebrate when it finally came to a stop and it, you need to be reminded that it took that long mm -hmm. to get things changed. Yeah, so I think this is a great time for everyone to just come out to these events and learn something, learn some history that they may not have known before. I know some people who said they just found out what Juneteenth was last right. year because of all that That's was true. happening in our nation. Yeah, a lot of education mm -hmm. still uh, left out there for people to learn about. So this is just one more step that needs to be taken. All right. Again, those details will be on our website.